case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In an unusual lawsuit, a prisoner named Kemp successfully sued Balboa, a guard at the Central Missouri Correctional Center, for seizing his epilepsy medication. The confiscation led Kemp to experience destructive epileptic fits. A jury initially sided with Kemp, but awarded him only nominal damages and punitive damages of $1. However, controversy around the validity of a certain testimony meant this was not the end of the matter. Trouble stirred when a lay witness, Manus, testified based solely on Kemp's medical records, despite having no direct connection to the case. This ran counter to Federal Rule of Evidence 602, which states that a witness cannot testify to matters they did not personally observe or have knowledge of. Kemp objected, arguing Maness' testimony should be struck. In a significant twist, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit agreed with Kemp. They reversed the decision of the lower court, stating it erred in permitting Maness's testimony. Ironically, the only aspect of the case affected by this evidence was not the issue of liability, but rather the amount of actual damages. As a result, the court demanded a new trial specifically to reassess damages. Additionally, the court vacated the initial award of attorney fees and costs granted to Kemp, as matters could shift if Kemp is awarded a higher amount in the second trial than what the defendants initially offered. Meanwhile, a cross-appeal concerning these costs and fees was nullified, as these issues could potentially become irrelevant after the upcoming trial. In the end, it was ruled Kemp was due for a second shot at fair compensation, and the lower court's handling of testimonial evidence was criticized. A fresh trial lies ahead to accurately determine compensatory damages owed to Kemp. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.